having a Fortnite theme party? Then take your party to the next level with these must-have Fortnite decorations. Welcome back everybody and thank you for being here. My name is Wayne with me to you Game Truck and I'm going to take your party to the next level. So the first thing you're going to need is to discuss what colors that you are going to need at your party. So keep in mind that these are just kind of general colors. You don't necessarily have to have every single one of these colors, but you are going to need at least a mixture of these colors in order to fit that Fortnite theme that you'll see in their brand and in their game. So the colors that you're going to need are a purple shade of usually lighter or even a darker purple shade. You're going to need a teal and or a blue shade. You're also going to need a lime or a lime green shade. And you'll need a yellow shade for one of the props that we're going to talk about coming up. What's that? It's a bird. It's a plane. No. Oh, it's a supply drop. Yes, folks, a supply drop is a must-have item that you're going to have at your Fortnite theme party. Now, a supply drop is a very simple idea that you can make. What you need for the supply box is a blue bag, a yellow balloon, either yellow string, white string, some sort of string that will attach the balloon to the top of the bag. And then on the bag, you are going to color in the word drop, as you can see here in the picture. And then you can use these for a multitude of reasons. My suggestion would be to use these for your party favor bags. And each guest could have their own supply box party favor bag to take home. So now that you have your supply drop bags made, you're going to need to put something in them as party favors. So a couple of the items that we found online after some research and were really good for the kids are something like a Fortnite dog tag. You can find these on Pinterest or Amazon. Another idea may be to make some V-Bucks. So V-Bucks are items that the kids will purchase for add-ons in the game. And you're going to add these on to your party to make sure that you take it up to the next level. My suggestion would be to actually make cookies and then you can bag them up, put them into the party favor. And then you can also have some there to serve your guests during the party. So what you'll need for V-Buck cookies are a multitude of options, but in general, I would suggest maybe some sugar cookies. You'll need some blue icing to cover the cookies with the blue icing. And then you'll also wanna make a ring with the V in the middle in white. And then that way you can make it your V-Buck coins for the kids to eat. And if you're not really up for cookies, then you can also find on Pinterest and Etsy and Amazon, you can find pre-made coin labels that you can put on the chocolate coins. Um, so if you can go find some chocolate coins at your local stores, then you could use these chocolate coins to make your V-Bucks instead. Now to get your party moving, you'll want to add some boogie bombs to your party bags. Now to make your boogie bombs, what you'll need are some Skittles, some baggies, and then you can print out some boogie bomb labels that I found online. Right here, you can make your own and print them, or you can order them and have them made and shipped to you. And then you can attach the label and then put them in your party paper bag. So now your guests have built up a thirst and you need something to get their shield power back up. And the perfect solution for that is some slurp juice. Now slurp juice, you have a few options that you can take. My suggestion would be to grab some Gatorade bottles. You're going to want to make sure it's the light blue version of Gatorade. You can go on to Pinterest or Amazon and you can look up slurp juice labels and you'll find that there are plenty of options that you can purchase from and have those shipped to your house. If you want, some places may have a digital download, which you can just download them digitally and print them yourself. However, most people don't tend to have the, the plastic wrapper that you're going to need. Um, if you just try to use basic paper, you're going to notice that the paper is going to end up getting wet and then will just tear off and you won't have a label on there anymore. Another option you could do, which is pretty neat, is if you happen to have some mason jars, you can fill the mason jars up with the blue Gatorade liquid that you have. And on the bottom of the mason jar, you're going to take one of the glow sticks and then you'll make a circle out of the glow sticks and you'll put those onto some tape. I would suggest some duct tape if you have, or maybe some Gorilla tape. And then you'll cut the edges around and put it on the bottom of the jar. This is something that you can do when the kids need a break and you wanna give them some refreshments, come inside, turn off the lights, and they can all enjoy their slurp juice together with these cool glow-in-the-dark mugs. Oh, hey, so now that you have your slurp juice all ready to go, you need a way to keep that cool, but you're not just gonna put it in any old cooler because you're gonna take your party to that next level. So what you wanna do is go to your local army surplus store, or if you have somebody in the military who's willing to pick one of these up for you, uh, you can even go to like a Cabela's or something and pick up an ammo crate from there. 
but I really like these because they give you that exact kind of feel what you see in the game, but also just more of that military feel. So just personal thing for me, but I tend to really like this. And what you want to do, as you saw in the video, is you'll open up, put your ice inside the crates, and then put your slurp juice in there to keep them cool for the kids for whenever they want to come and get a drink. Now, perhaps you don't have time or you don't want to go grab one of these, you don't want to spend the extra money on it. What you could do is just get a cardboard box in a rectangular form and just paint it green, write ammo on it, and you know that will do as well however you're not going to be able to use that as a cooler so you know keep that in mind but if you want the prop there of something like that perhaps it could hold one of your other treats that you're going to have there so you don't necessarily have to use it for the cooler i just kind of like putting the two together with the ammo crates and the slurp juices but the main thing is that you have the ammo crates there because that's in the game as something that you just want to give that little tweak to your event to really take it up to the next level now for the last thing what you'll need is a llama no, 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 not, not that kind of llama. A pinata llama. So in Fortnite, there are special items called llamas, in which in the game, once you open up the llama, it usually gives you different supplies for the game. So you can find the llama pinatas at your local stores. Uh, my local Walmart didn't have one, but I believe I saw them on Amazon. And you want to try to get an actual Fortnite llama because those will actually still go with your color scheme. And then a little pro tip here, you may even want to get your llama first, so that way you know exactly which colors that you're trying to scheme for your theme. So the colors that I mentioned at the very beginning of this video will also match with those colors on the llama. So those are the colors that you're really trying to go for. So if for some reason you forget, oh yeah, which colors do I need? Pick up your Fortnite llama first and then you'll have the colors that you will want to use in order to match for your theme. Cheers! Okay, and so the last thing that you're going to need in order to take your party to that extra level, if you really want your child to have some really big excitement, then you can surprise them with a Me Too You game truck party where we will roll right up to your front door, let all the kids come in and play, and they'll get to all play together and take in turns playing Fortnite and really top off that Fortnite theme party. And you know, if you have a small enough party, they may not even need to share. And they'll get to play for a whole hour and a half, two hours with each other. And the great thing about having the game truck is they're not going to be sitting by themselves playing. They're actually going to get to link up with all their friends and the different TVs and play together at the same time, sitting right next to each other, playing their favorite game, playing that game that you obviously know is one of their favorites. And they'll be able to be there with their friends, just enjoying and having a great time. Okay guys, and that wraps up this video today. If you've watched all the way to the very end, I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if I've missed anything that should be on this list, please leave a comment below letting everybody else know what should be on this list as well. If you have any questions about the items that we did cover and how you can make those, please let us know and we can make a video in the future for you going over these different items. And folks, I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and we will see you in the next one.